All right, guys, how are we? Okay, so Quadlock have very kindly sent me their wireless phone charging system to attach to the bike. Um, they've also sent me a dampening kit as well, which basically takes away the vibrations from the phone itself. Um, if you're not aware of who Quadlock are, they basically design and build uh, the case for your actual phone itself and the mount, and they all, they're all designed to integrate as one piece. So it's very quick, it's very easy, and it's pretty much fuss-free. I love mine, I've had mine on my bike for ages, and um, it's a really great bit of kit. Uh, we're gonna have a look at the boxes that they've sent, and we're gonna have a look inside. I haven't opened them up yet, so I'm quite excited about that. And then I wanna run a test. Now, usually when my phone, which is an iPhone 11 Pro Max, when it gets down to about 20%, that's when I put it on charge. So I'm gonna wait until my battery drains down to around about 20%. I'm gonna attach it to the quad lock system. Then I'm gonna ride to work with the GPS running and the screen on full power, everything going as I would normally and I'm going to see what sort of charge this system gives us and I'll show you that uh, at the very end. All right guys, let's have a look at the boxes. Okay, so let's see what we have. This is the wireless charging unit, weatherproof wireless charging head, key features, uh, up to 10 watts fast charging, two times dual stage lock, IP66 rating, which is this waterproof rating, and a 360 degree interface. The strongest, most secure smartphone wireless charger. Okay, that's another good point. This is compatible with all quad lock mounts with the quad lock 360 interface. So if you have the older system or the original system like I do, that will still work on this wireless charger. So you don't need to get a new case, which is fantastic. Okay, that's that. This is the vibration dampener. Like I said before, just takes out the vibes from the phone. There's been a few guys uh, who actually uh, left comments on my original quad lock video saying, uh, have you had any damage to your phone? I've heard others have. I personally haven't, but this will make it even more safer. So uh, this, this shall be going on as well. So we'll have a look at that as well. Let's open them up. Have a look inside, see what we got. Okay, we have, let's check anything in there. Nope. We have our instructions, uh, what's in the box, insulation instructions, wiring instructions, uh, LED uh, status modes, um, attaching your phone. Okay, that looks exactly the same as it was before. No problems there. And that's all the other guff. So let's see what we got in the box. We have the USB to, uh, what is that called? A micro USB, I'm not too sure. That's that one. Oh, I've also got, oh, we've got two of the same. Oh, okay, one's longer and one is shorter. So they've got two uh, cables with the box. We have some cable ties, an Allen key and a screw. And we have the actual charging system itself. Oh, it's got quite a weight to it, which is nice. Looks lovely. So there you go. So we'll leave that to one side. Let's have a look at the vibration dampener. Come on, Billy, come on, get your fingers in there. Jeez. Oh, all right, sorry. Okay, vibration dampener. All right, so installation instructions. Okay, so, all oh right, so I just have to take my old mount off, put this dampener on. Oh, that's okay, so if you're gonna use the old stick with the old system or the original system I should say all you have to do is take that off put the dampener on and put your original system back over the top and that should sort out your vibration issues excellent all right and here is the little thing itself yeah, it looks like it's just got like a some rubber mounts in there 
excellent very well made it looks um, like really good quality excellent stuff okay and it comes with an allen key as well all right fantastic let's get all this gear mounted onto the bike all right so i'm going to take off my original mount with the allen key that they've provided ah billy come on the so first thing we're going to stick on is the vibration dampener unit and it should run in like that and like i said before this is going on to the existing extension arm which was already there so like so let's give that one down here a little tighten up as well all right all right so now the now you just have to bear in mind at the bottom of this charging unit is where your usb uh cable goes into so make sure that's got clear access to your port so as it stands i'm putting in mind putting mine in this way so it goes from the power socket which is there and i'm going to run the cable just up into there Oh, come on Billy all right so there you go so there is the system mounted let's just bring you in for a bit of a close-up on that and there's the dampening system underneath you can kind of see where it where it's got that bit of give and those little squishy bits there all right looks great let's have a sort of rider's eye view obviously you won't be seeing that when the camera's on it but um yeah i love it love it all right so let's get this thing wired up all right now so i know a lot of bikes do have usb ports as standard uh, this one doesn't it does have a power socket though so i'm just going to plug in my powerlet usb into here and we have power all right now one thing that I just forgot to mention to you, if you look underneath here, and I just noticed in the instructions, right there, that is a little power switch. So you can in theory have this mount for two uses. You can use it as you had before, as just a standard phone mount, or you can have one, you can have it to charge your phone at the same time. So it serves two purposes. Fantastic. All right, so let's get the phone on okay goes on exactly the same as before no problems and let's turn it on and there you go i can see that charging away that is charging as we speak let's just press the button underneath yeah and then it stops charging so you can attach your phone turn on the charge on or off fantastic now it is charging up again let me just show you that closer so you know I'm not telling porky pies so there it is charging you can see the little lightning bolt and if I just press the button on the back off it goes back on again and it's charging so let me just show you how secure the actual base is you can actually rock your bike back and forth once this thing is on it is on but you can also see this vibration dampener, the, how much movement it has in it now, which is fantastic. There it is in action. Yeah, so I think I've done quite a good job there with the cable. It looks, it looks quite neat. Um, I suppose you could put a cable tie on it if you wanted to, just to secure it. But uh, yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. Look at that fantastic and obviously the green led is flashing there to show that it's charging let's just double check what these leds mean okay blue is power on blue flashing is error mode uh green is charging 
Ah, so green flashing says low input power mode. Okay, no problem. Uh, and when it flashes, what color is that? So like a light blue. That means there's a full charge. And if it flashes light blue, it means the wireless charger is overheating. Now I'm not too sure what how much of a drain this is going to be on the uh, on the battery. I can't imagine it being that much because in winter time at least I have my heated jacket on, my heated gloves, and I have the heated grips on as well. So, and I've never had any issues uh, with a flat battery, so I can't imagine it being that much of an issue. Um, but I think what I would do is as and when I need to use the phone I mean if I've got 100% charge and I need to find where something is locally I'm not going to bother plugging it into the charger but if I need to find something far away and I'm going to be on the bike for an hour or so that's when I think it would come in handy so at the moment like I showed you earlier I'm using this powerlet adapter and USB socket and to be quite honest it's a bit it does the job it works but it's a little bit it sticks out a fair bit and it's a bit kind of clunky and loose so i've just seen on amazon this little beauty which looks really nice um and it's got a us it's got a direct din adapter as opposed to the uh the other type the cigarette lighter type and it also has a USB-C and a standard USB with a little, little dust cap on it as well. Yeah, so I've ordered that. That should be coming tomorrow. I've got a black one. And uh, yeah, it should make the whole thing look a little bit neater. All right, so hopefully that's covered everything uh, you want to know. If there is something you want to know which I haven't covered, please just ask me down below and I'll try my very best to answer it for you. Uh, the next test is going to be to get the phone power down to about 20 percent uh, then i'm going to write to work with the gps maps on um, and then we're going to see how much the battery percentage is when we get to our destination and i'll show you that as well i'll show you before and after all right let's do it all right we are at let's just see there come on why aren't you focusing today? You see that? 21%. It's just gone into the red, look at that. 20%. Okay, uh, let's get the maps. Maps are running. That is my route to work. Uh, the screen is at, I have about three quarters up so I can actually see it. All right, let's rock and roll. Woo! excuse the sound I've got the helmet on so I'm at work let's see the batteries in the green and we have 22% so not a massive amount but it has charged it by about two percent so uh, yeah let's go inside and have a little recap Woo. Well, that's about as cold as I've ever been on a bike. <laughs> oh my god. Alright, so we set off on the bike at 20%. We got here 45, 50 minutes later and it says 22%. So not a massive amount. Now, that's not the fault of the wireless charger. I believe it is the fault of my bike not being able to push that much ampage or voltage to the actual thing itself because let's not forget that little green light was flashing and that means it's a low power input but despite the fact 
it's receiving only low power it still managed to charge it so you can't really argue with that so it is a it is a good system and it does work very well in that respect um, yeah so make up your own minds on that I'd like to know if you have this system and you have a more modern bike than mine let's not forget my bikes 10 years old uh, let me tell me what results you get from it and um, uh, yeah let me know down below actually one thing I forgot to mention there is I did have the heated jacket on so it was running on the heated jacket as well so I'd imagine the results will be um, even better if I wasn't uh, plugged in as well with the heated jacket <sighs> I'm so cold I can't even string a sentence together all right guys hopefully that was uh, useful for you and uh, I'll see you again soon take it easy guys adios Ta -da, bye